Lovely, one for extra good luck. Right, this is the one where we're getting the gold medal, Mysterious Mo. I wish you best of luck. Take your time. When it's safe, drive on and follow the glorious Gloria. Thank you. Everybody that wants the results, tune to the end for the results. If you're still here, smash that like button. You do not understand. I know you hear it all the time, but it really helps. After 200 yards, tickle. turn right, King's College Road, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, B466 East Coat Road. Turn right, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, B466 East Coat Road. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Okay, when it's safe, I'd like you to show us how you would wash rear window. Perfect, one time, thank you. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, B466, High Road East Coat. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. the roundabout and take the second exit, B466, High Road East Coat. No, you mastered those double roundabouts, that was really nice. Smell gold, Mo. You smell it? Mmm, 24 carats of success. There's an ejector button up there. If we push it, I'll fly through the roof. 
So anytime you have enough, you just push that and send Scott bye bye. After 200 yards, turn left, Catlin's Lane. Turn left. Sickest. <laughs> At the end of the road, turn left, Chamberlain Way, then turn right. Turn left, then turn right. safe place. Okay, I'd like to do the reverse park exercise. That's this green car in front. Mm -hmm. You got it, that's the one. Take your time when you're ready. Red. Yeah, it's flashing red and beeping. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. Um, when you're ready and it's safe, drive on, please. Road on the right. After 100 yards, right. sharp right, mm -hmm. like the black car drive. Car below. Then you have reached your destination on your left. Sharp right, then you have reached your destination on your left. Good right turn. If it's safe, turn right again. Excellent observations. Very nice. Good junction. Well done. That's identical to the junction uh, in and out of the test centre. So that was nice to see. Good turns. After 100 yards, you have reached your destination on your left. So ignore the sat nav, just continue to follow the road. You have reached your destination, Tolkan Drive. It is on your left. Just after these parked cars on the left, if you go around them, pull up on the left. Yeah, don't worry about the yellow line or the driveways. Just try to pull up somewhere here on the left. For me, please. Thank you. Right. What we're going to do is some more independent driving. Hopefully the sat nav will work yeah. from here. Wish me luck. I've gone past it. There it is. Okay. All right. So take your time. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on. And then for a little bit of luck... Just following the sat nav for me, please. You will arrive at your destination at 12.30 p.m. Have a look at the dash. It's giving you a prompt. End of the road, turn left, Chamberlain Way. Turn left.
At the end of the road, turn right, B466, Cuckoo Hill, then, take the second left. Turn right, then, take the second left. After 300 yards, turn left, high view. So we're on a driving test here. Mm. Someone just passed us on a driving test. Okay, we've got a green light now. Uh, into drive. Let's go. Go faster. Go, 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 go. Okay, and just continue to follow the side nav, please. After 100 yards, turn left, high view. Turn left. Bit of an awkward spot to ask someone to do parking. Mm. Anyways. After 200 yards, turn right, west end lane, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Chapel Lane. Turn right, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. After 
100 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Chapel Lane. Then take the second right. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Then take the second right. After 200 yards, turn right, Bridge Street. Turn right. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Marsh Road. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, Rainer's Lane. on the roundabout and take the second exit. After 300 yards, turn right, Highfield Avenue. Turn right. Then right then I'm... Correct. Wolf exit. After 100 yards, go around the roundabout and take the fifth exit, Rainer's Lane. Then turn left. Go around the roundabout and take the fifth exit. Then turn left. Thank you. 
Yes, please. After 200 yards, turn left, St. Michael's Crescent. I wonder if you could just follow the sand path again for me, please. Turn left. So what we're doing on this mock test is really working on our ability to plan early. So if we do have the advantage of a sat nav, remember we've got the countdown. So we've got 200 yards, that's pretty fair distance. 100 yards means we're getting close. 60 yards means signal, signal. good. And then we'll see the junction. So how many yards are we now? It's, 100, it's about 100, yeah, yeah. good. After right. 100 yards, turn left, Cannon Lane. Turn left. After 200 yards, bear right, Eastern Avenue. Bear right. <clears throat> All right, um, I'm going to say uh, we've reached the destination, the sat nav would normally say it, and then the examiner will tell us, continue to follow the road ahead, and I'll give you the directions just for the remainder of the test. And that's the language they use. I know there's some big, big words in there, a bit confusing, but I just copied the examiners. Okay, so I'll give you the directions from now on, just follow the road ahead.
traffic lights, turn right. Now I'm just slightly joking with you, but have a look at your steering. Can you see it's left? Yeah, just straight. Your position's not good. See the red car? You want to be a bit more in front of the red car. Because what it's doing is it's causing this traffic to go around us. Okay? But if we go in front of them, we will block the, each you other. Did. Yeah, you almost blocked them. You saw my foot go to the brake, yeah? Yeah. Because you were going too much into them. Turn left. looking somewhere, weren't you? When you came back to the road, you were going into that white car. One second, one second, one second, one second. Watch tennis. Okay. Turn left. And turn left again for me, please. At the traffic lights, turn right. What's your plan, Mr. Mo? Mm, turn and right. Okay. See you steering left. Next row on the right, please. Yes, it is. So 
So when you're doing your crossroads, yeah. it's just like this. You see how you position? Yeah. Very nice. See, it's not obstructing them. Yeah. They can just go straight. Yeah? Perfect. To give them space to pass. Correct. If they turn, they turn. If they pass, they pass. Correct. Right. Yes. Some is safe to pull up on the left. That's fine, don't worry about the driveways. We're just finishing up. Thank you, sir. All right, and just push us on the power button. We power down. That's the end of a fourth mock test. My God, you're a machine. How do you feel it went? Feel not good, yeah, because of the traffic light. Yeah. The, the, the temporary traffic the, light. The, yeah. The, so we had that part there, if, didn't we? If, they don't, if uh, I don't, if that's not. I could feel busted. Cool, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I'll have a look at my notes in a sec if that helps at all. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Oh, guys, let me know if the connection's okay, please. So, let's have a look at the notes. Right, uh, fourth. Yeah, just one serious was the going through the traffic light or going into. Um, the traffic light in fact there was one more serious as well do you remember the narrow road chapel lane mm -hmm. it's a very narrow road um when we got to the end it's a busy road by pinar mm -hmm. tube station mm -hmm. we waited and there was a gap to go we missed it yeah i marked that down as undue hesitation Okay. The pedestrians used the zebra crossing on the right and it gave us an opportunity to go. Now, when we went after that, there were vehicles coming towards us, yeah. both sides, and we drove out in front of those vehicles. Why? At that, at that junction? Yeah. So, uh, I, I've seen the gap then, uh, I see it's big gap, you know, that's why I, I try the road. Was there? It's far, it was far from me. Yeah. Okay, cool. That can be the case. Yeah. Then definitely yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, do you, do we believe that any of that traffic on the main road had to slow down for us? Yeah, but uh, the reason why I entered, I, I I told you that it was it was far from me. Then I tried to when I see a, a nice gap, you know. That's why I turned it. When you would and, walk out yeah, with your yeah. with your baby, yeah. <laughs> so I baby, that. babies in arms. So, uh, or if they're walking, you're holding the hand. Would you have gone? No. no. Oh, what changed your mind? 
So you mean when you enter the land, you didn't speed up, you know? I didn't speed up, you know? I just referred to the walkout rule because yeah. it helped me a lot. Yeah, so if I draw a quick picture of the road, it was just a T-junction. So this is you and your child and your baby saying to you, Daddy, I want to go over there to the shop. Get me an ice cream. So you and your child are standing here. You're looking over there at the shop and you want to take your child over there to the shop. How do you know when it's safe to walk across to the shop with your child? It's a bit of a silly question, really, isn't it? You just know, don't you? Right? Use that same assessment when you're in the car with your child. So I'm just going to put you and your baby in the, in the car. And your baby's saying, Daddy, we've got to go to school. School's over here. Would you walk over to the shops or to the school? Yes. Then you can definitely drive over. No problem. That's safe. That's a good decision. If we say, oh, I'm not too sure. It looks like there might be some traffic on the road. I don't know if it's safe to walk to the shops and get that ice cream. Would you walk out? No. So why the... <laughs> Eesh, eesh, eesh. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the walkout rule before? I've never taught that to you? Yeah, you told me. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? And on that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Mo, for sharing. We do have his driving test tomorrow, but that's all right. We'll be okay. You can do it. Yeah. And until next time, guys, wish us luck. Stay safe. We'll see you on the next one.